Okay, so I'm gonna give this a try again and see if I could get my sister on here with us. I sent her a notification, so hopefully she'll be popping on here just a minute. I'm excited to talk to you guys about um, celery today. Oh, perfect. Annie's on. I'm just bringing her on. Here we go. You hear Annie in just a second. Oh, I'm so glad this is working. This is so great. On now. Oh, there you are. Oh, I see you now. Okay. Okay. Can you hang up the Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to hang up the phone. Okay. So, I'm Kathy Atwood, and that was my sister Annie, and we're going to be and there's Annie. And we are the Thrive Life Sisters. And today we're going to focus on some of our monthly specials. Every month we have new monthly specials. And uh, we wanted to share one that, that we use quite often. So I'm going to focus on the celery. And Annie, what are you talking about today? Uh, today I'm going to talk about the mashed potatoes. Because the mashed potatoes are on sale too. And these are amazing. So we're going to talk about both of those today. Awesome. So what I'm going to do, it, I'll get started, I guess, on something just to get going. And then we'll move to Annie and she'll uh, continue. So I, I'm focusing on celery. So just to show you, we have the celery right here. This is a big can and this is a small can of celery. I'm going to make a sorbet or smoothie with celery. And I know that sounds weird, but until you try it, you got to try it. So you just open up the can like this. So all my celery is there. I don't have to chop a thing. What I did is I scooped the celery into my blender and I made a powder just beforehand. All it is is just powder. As you can see, there's no chunks. There's no strings. It's heaven. It's actually very light, as you can see. So I'm going to add the celery powder, some ice, and then I made a simple syrup of sugar and water. So when you make a simple syrup, it's equal portions of sugar and water. And this is gonna be the sweetness. And then from there, I'm just gonna to mix together a little bit of sea salt and our limeade powder. Our limeade powder is amazing to sprinkle in anything, but it just changes the flavor completely of this smoothie sorbet. So I'll get started blending that. When Annie, you could get going on your thing. Sure, sounds good. Again, um, both of the cans, just as Kathy mentioned, um, the mashed potatoes come in a large and a small can. So when I'm doing a big uh, holiday dinner, I use my big can because I go through a whole lot more. But how it looks, it's pretty, it's kind of neat. It, it's flaky. So these potato flakes are amazing and they're really, they um, kind of, I had somebody try these and they put a little bit of water and they kept adding their potatoes and they thought that they needed a lot of water <clears throat> and they kept adding potatoes, but the potatoes just kind of blew up. It's like, it makes a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of potatoes in my bowl and I'm just going, I don't measure. I just kind of put some in here so you can see that my potatoes. Oh, go ahead, Kathy. Sorry. I need to add a little bit more liquid. And Lisa, she just got on and said, celery juice is good for you. I know there's some diets out there right now that are all about celery cleanses and juices. And I'll tell you some of the health benefits in just a minute. Sorry, go ahead, Annie. Okay, so I've put my potatoes. Okay. And... <laughs> Kathy, you're noisy. I'm sorry, that was really fast. I stopped there. Go ahead. Okay, so here's my potatoes. And what I do uh, to, for the potatoes is I just add a little bit of boiling water to that. And I mix that up. And as you can see, they're refreshing pretty fast. I'll put a little bit more. But what I like to do with this is I'm going to make um, a, a potato, um, like a big potato, okay? So I'm going to treat it like a big potato, and I'm going to add other things. I actually don't have fresh sour cream because I always use my Thrive sour cream. I know you can't get that right now, but that's, that's all I use. So I'm going to be adding some of that to it. I'm going to add a little bit more water because I want the consistency to be creamy, okay? 
And as you can see, the potatoes are actually forming pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to be adding a few ingredients. Um, so there's a few things that I have over here, and I'm going to be adding them in, and then I'll tell you what I've put in it. But uh, Kathy's just going to talk a little bit more about our green smoothie. Okay. And basically all it is is celery, ice, a little bit of limeade powder. You can add the sweetener of choice. I made a simple syrup, which is sugar and water. And this is so good and so detoxing. Now with this, I like to make it like a smoothie because I don't have an ice cream maker to actually make it like a sorbet, but you can make this like a sorbet and just pour this into your ice cream maker. It's delicious. Now remember, I did add a little bit of the limeade powder. It just changes the, the taste completely um, with the lime, I mean the, the celery juice. So that is so good. You have to try it before you say anything about it. Seriously, try it. And just some of the health benefits I wanted to share with you. Um, celery is super high in antioxidants. It reduces inflammation in your body. It supports digestion, rich in vitamin, vitamins and minerals for sure. Uh, it lowers your cholesterol. It's really good for lowering your blood pressure as well. High in fiber, which keeps you regular, which is a really great way to keep you regular. Um, it fights cancer. It helps with healthy skin. There's a whole bunch of health benefits of celery. So look into that if you wanted to know more. But this is, I know there's cleanses out there and diets that you can have with celery juice. I like using the full pulp and everything because then you get all the fiber. But seriously, give it a try. Hey, Liesl, thanks for coming back. Back to Annie, I guess, with your mashed potatoes. Yes. So let me tell you what I put in here. So you can use this, um, these mashed potatoes for a shepherd's pie, or you can just instant potatoes like really, really fast. But what I've done is baked potato, and I put all the dressings on it. So I put some sour cream. I put some cheese. I actually, um, because the cheese we can't get in Canada right now, um, I put just regular cheese. Um, but some bacon bits, some chives, and a little bit of garlic seasoning and butter. Okay, and again, the Thrive Butter is what I use, but if you take a look, this is like a nice baked potato. Mmm. So good. That looks That's good. amazing. Yeah, and the cheese is just starting to, to string a little bit. So just absolutely divine. Very tasty. So easy. If you want to feed your family really, really quick, uh, like you can even do a full dinner, there's your potatoes. And it didn't take, what, it took a few minutes, didn't it, Kathy? I love not having to wash and boil and peel and all. Oh, that saves you so much time. I love that. Exactly. Awesome. So it's pretty amazing. So these are our specials. Um, these are just two. Yes, Audrey, you can answer it. So these are two of our specials for the month, and we always buy the specials because that's when the best price is. So why not, especially the stuff that you use all the time? Ladies, Liesl and Cindy, please share with us what you guys like out of the monthly specials this month and see what your favorites are. I like to be able to buy the sales because it works out to be cheaper, but then when you really find out how good they are for you, it makes me wanna eat them more. So please share with us in the comments and let us know what your favorites are. So that's awesome. So remember, remember, you can do this, you too. Can do this too. Awesome. See you next time.